I had done an eight dollar arm robbery and got eight years a couple miles from here in 1975 and uh, prison saved my life and uh, 12 Step spirituality gave me a life and uh, and reading and writing also helped me get out of prison and stay out of prison, successful reentry. And we need to hear those stories and the synergy of that, of, of success. It's so fragmented. There's amazing good things going on in our, in our society, uh, working with at-risk kids and working with families, but it's fragmented. With the power of media now, it's, it's, it's just um, amazes me that that we haven't had that happen yet. And, and I just I love the, of the nature to make that happen. And so this poem that I'm going to share was me struggling with realizing that I was alcoholic and that I had a problem with drugs. And so my first poem was called Killer Weed. And it's real simple, basic, and yet uh, real uh, revealing. Uh, because a year after I wrote this poem, I, I had have been abstained from smoking PCP. And so the poem goes, uh, there's a high known as killer weed, but you can call it angel dust green or PCP. Uh, the high hits you as fast as the train, but if you keep smoking it, it's going to burn out your brain. And if you keep making those KW sales, all you're going to do is wind up in jail. And if you think this is all a big joke, then die as you take your last toe. So I wrote that in 1977. A year later, um, I stopped smoking PCP, and a few months later, pot, and that was 36 years ago. And um, um, it was the beginning of a process that I didn't realize, the power of, of writing and expression and um, uh, transformation. I do this, and I can't not do this. And there's so many other people who, particularly if they... Are, have embraced recovery from addiction, from mental health, from trauma that begin to grow and glow and, and there's just this natural inclination to want to help others. And, give, and you can do that in all kinds of different ways. But I also know I can't give away something that I don't have. So I'm a lifetime student and so I, I just constantly read, addictively read, and, um, and that's not a bad thing. 